Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This video is a response to a question posted on the Power Automate community forums where somebody is receiving data in a text file and they want to parse that and write it out to Excel. Um, and he's shown the format of the text file which is actually JSON and he's been given some help but I am going to have a go at it. So if we take a look at this piece of text here, we will see that it is actually JSON. And what he's trying to do is get these two first fields, Flutter Felt 1 and Flutter Felt 2, into an Excel document, um, which should be pretty straightforward. So let's take a look. So I've already got the start of a flow here with um, include attachments, yes, and the subject filter set to Flatterfelt. Flatterfelt, I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, so I'm going to go into and apply to each, and it will be for each attachment. Now, in his example, what he's doing in the flow that he's done is <clears throat> he's doing an apply to each, and then same as, same as what I've done, but he's writing it out to a file and then do, getting get file content and then adding a row into a table. I'm not going to bother with the get, create file and get file content. We'll just go straight into the file content. So if I do a compose, and what I'll do in here is just put in item so we can see what we've got. Quite often I start with this approach on an apply to each because it just shows you the object that you've got to work with. So this is our object that we've got to work with. I'm just going to stick that into Notepad for reference. So here's some information about the attachment and the thing that I'm really interested in is content bytes, which as we can see here is a base 64 string. So let's grab that content bytes first. So instead of item, I'll use item content bytes, and then I will, because I know that's a base64, I will do base64 to string, like that. So that will give us the text representation of that. So let's just rename this to text. Let's have a look now. Okay, so we've got our text now, and it is text, not JSON. But we can see that it is valid JSON, as I showed at the start of the video, like that. So what we'll do is change this base64 string and wrap it in the expression JSON. And now it will actually be usable JSON. Now we can see that Power Automate interprets it correctly as JSON. And he is after the values in Flutter Felt 1 and Flutter Felt 2. And as you can see, they are delimited by semicolons. So that looks okay. So what I will do now is I'm going to edit this and I'm going to call it JSON data. I wanted that to run history, but it's okay. So let's see if we can extract from here those two values. So it's going to be one and the second one. See if we can get those two strings. Okay. 
Okay, so now we've got those two strings um, and each part of it is delimited by a semicolon with a space. So what I am going to do is add another compose and instead of having those two strings separately, what I'll do is copy the expression from there and I will do concat one and I'll put a, a semicolon and a space and then I'll grab the second one. So now I don't need that or that. Okay, so now I have got one list with all the entries on it. And what I'm now going to do is say split. I'll split all of that on a semicolon and a space. So if we now update that, Okay, so now we get a nice array of all of the dates in that file. Um, probably the final two, which are just a, a dash, aren't needed. So we'll call this, how did he refer to it? Okay, well, we'll just call it periods or something. We'll call it dates. And then I am going to do a filter action and we will filter dates and I am going to do length item is greater than one for example so that should remove those ones that are just dashes Okay, so I've got a dead simple array there. I'll just stick in a parse JSON step. It's not really necessary, but it'll make things slightly easier. So I've used the output of the filter array as the content for the parse JSON. Then I'm gonna go down to Excel Online and do add a row into a table. On Drive for Business. Pick my file out. Choose the table. Now here, when I click into the past JSON item, that will put this into an apply to each loop. It is possible to do this without either of these apply to each loops, but for now we'll keep it simple. Okay, so the flow has run and executed the dates five times. That's the first insertion. And so on and so forth. Let's go and have a look at the file. So it's saying there's a new version available, reopen the file. And there is the dates inserted into the file. And that is it. So I hope that is helpful to whoever it was, Mads V, and to anybody else that's watching that wants to just take an incoming text file and do something with it. Um, in this case, put that content into Excel. So uh, let me know how you get on Mads and I'll see you in another video. Cheers. Bye-bye.